imitate. In 3 John 11, we read, Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. Who do you imitate? John wrote to a church that was facing a problem, and that problem's name was Diotrephes. This church leader loved his position of authority and opposed any person that challenged him. Diotrephes spoke maliciously against the apostles like John. He was opposed to the true gospel and would not allow faithful teachers to come into his community. Diotrephes did not want the people in his church to receive the traveling evangelist. If a member of the church did receive one of these teachers, that member was kicked out of the church. John not only called Diotrephes evil, but he also described Diotrephes as a lost person. Diotrephes' opposition to the truth and the evil life he lived revealed that he did not really know God. John warned the church not to imitate Diotrephes. They needed to do what was good. Demetrius was another member of the church, but John stated that Demetrius had a good testimony. He lived a good life that honored Christ, and the church should have been imitating him. A life that honored Christ did good. A life that honored Christ was worthy of imitation. We will encounter many different types of people in church. Sadly, some of us will encounter ungodly leaders. It seems obvious that we should not imitate prideful, controlling people, but such people speak to the unredeemed part of our flesh. We like to be part of the crowd. Church division is caused by sinful attitudes. A split church may have sinful attitudes on both sides, or a split church may be due to good colliding with evil. There are people in church who profess to be Christians but have never accepted Christ as their Lord. Without God's Word, we can be fooled by false teachers in the church. No matter how attractive or charismatic a leader might be, we should not imitate evil. All those that practice evil are imitating Satan. All those that practice good are imitating Jesus. Godly examples in the church bring us great encouragement, and we should be that godly example for others. A life that honors Christ does good. A life that honors Christ is worthy of imitation. Are you seeking God's word for direction? The world has many guides that will lead you in the wrong direction. Who are you imitating in your church? Be careful not to automatically follow the biggest or most powerful voice, but follow those who follow Christ. Are you worth imitating? You either follow Christ or you do not. You either practice good or practice evil. Daily submit to the Spirit's leading and the Word's direction. No person is perfect, but the fallen Christian always gets back up. A life that honors Christ is worthy of imitation. God, thank you for the perfect example of obedience that is found in Christ alone. Thank you for the godly people that you have put in my life as an example. Help me to be discerning about who I imitate. Equip me to be an example that is worthy of imitation. Forgive me where I fail you and strengthen my walk daily. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.